This video was brought to you by the ILC. Hello there once again, welcome to episode 46. We've done a few problems with matrices now, but this time I want to talk about how to solve a word problem and a system of equations using a matrix. Let's get started. Alright, this problem is going to describe our system, and our job will be to set up a matrix that allows us to solve this problem. It says a store sells tents, sleeping bags, and camp stools. A tent with two sleeping bags and three camp stools costs $112. A sleeping bag is $14 more expensive than a camp stool, and a tent is nine times more expensive than a camp stool. In order to set up a matrix for this problem, we first need to assign letters to each of the concepts. The subject of the question are the tents, sleeping bags, and camp stools. I'm going to let X stand for tents, let Y stand for sleeping bags, and let Z stand for the stools. That's always the first decision you should make, is what letter stands for which item. Now that we've done that, let's look at the next line. It says one tent and two sleeping bags and three camp stools together cost $112. Well, the tents are X, so we'll start by saying X, two sleeping bags, so two of Y, so we'll say plus two Y, and three of camp stools, that's three Z. Now, all together they add up to 112, so we'll say equals 112. That's the first line. Let's move to the next line. It says a sleeping bag is $14 more expensive than a camp stool. The sleeping bags are Y. Then we see the word is. That means equal to. And then we have $14 more expensive than a camp stool. Let's start with the camp stools first. We know that's Z. And if it is $14 more expensive, we say plus 14 to show that. Now let's look at the third line. It says a tent is nine times more expensive than a camp stool. So tent is X, is means equals, and nine times a camp stool, we'll say nine times Z, or simply 9z. That's all of our equations assigned. Now we need to set up the matrix. And remember that when you set up a matrix you need to get all the letters onto the left side. And any constants will go to the right side. If we look at the first equation we have x, y, and z on the left and constants on the right. So this one is already set up exactly the way it needs to be. And we'll enter it into the matrix now. The second line has Y on the correct side, but the Z is not on the correct side. So we'll have to move the Z over. Okay, if we move the Z over, it becomes negative. So we'll have Y minus Z equals 14. So let's put this equation into the matrix as well. It does not have x, so that's 0. The y is 1, and the z is negative 1, and the constant is 14. That's 2 down, 1 to go. Let's look at the third line. We have x on the left, 9z on the right, but we want all the letters to be on the left, so we'll have to move the 9z. If we move it, it becomes negative. So we'll have x minus 9z equals 0, because there is no constant on the right side. Now we'll place that into the matrix. We'll say 1 for x. There is no y, so 0 here. And negative 9 is my z. I have no constant either, and so that's 0. And so that is how you set up a matrix to solve the problem. Now let's try to solve the problem. As in our previous examples, we are going to try to go to row echelon form.
And remember to go to Row Echelon Form. We'll need to change all the numbers in the bottom left corner to zero. We can see that two of them are already zero, but this one in the bottom left hand corner needs to change. Since this is in row three, we will have to start by changing row three. Write that down. And we'll need to add something times row one. You can see row two wouldn't work because it's only got a zero there. That's not going to allow us to get rid of this one. We have to use something times row one. Well, let's look at what the opposite it would be. We have a one already, so we need the opposite of that. That's negative one. So let's multiply that negative one times each term on the top. Negative one times one is negative one. Negative one times two is negative two. Negative one times three is negative three. And negative one times 112 is still negative 112. Let's do the operations now. One minus one is zero. Zero minus two is minus two. Negative nine minus three is negative 12. And zero minus 112 is minus 112. Our new matrix will look like this. Row one will not change. Row two will not change. Here is our new row three. So we are getting closer. Two of our targets are already zero. But this negative two will have to change to zero as well, so we have to make another change to row three. I'll write that down now. Change row three once again. Now we can see that adding row one again wouldn't help us because that would mess up this zero. We'll have to use row two instead because that has a one. Add something multiplied by row two. Well, I have negative two in the target. I'll have to use the opposite of negative two. That's positive two. Since I have a one right above it, let's just put the two times everything in row two. So two times zero is zero. Two times one is positive two, just like I wanted. Two times negative one is negative two. And two times 14 is 28. Now we'll do our operations. Zero and zero make zero. Negative two minus two makes zero. Negative 12 minus two makes negative 14. And negative 112 plus 28 makes negative 84. You can check that with the calculator if you're not sure about that. Now remember, to reach row echelon form, we need to have a one in this position here. So we'll need to divide all the terms by negative 14. Now, zero divided by negative 14 is still zero. Negative 14 divided by negative 14 is the one that we wanted. And then negative 84 divided by negative 14 is just six. This will be our new row three. So here's our matrix. Row one still hasn't changed. Row two still hasn't changed. Row three is now zero, zero, one, six. This is our row reduced matrix. All that remains is to solve it. Once again, we will start from row three. Row three says that one Z is equal to six. That's one variable down already. Now we go to row two. Row two says zero X plus one Y minus one Z equals 14. Y minus 1z equals 14. We'll put the 6 down where the z is so that y minus 6 equals 14. If we add 6 to both sides to get y by itself, negative 6 and positive 6 cancels, and we'll have y equals 14 plus 6. That's 20. 2 down, 1 to go. Now we go to row 1. 
Row 1 says 1x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to the constant, 112. For the y, we'll put in 20 that we just found. For z, we'll put in the 6 that we found previously. So we'll have x plus 2 times 20 plus 3 times 6 equals 112. Let's simplify. We still have x. 2 times 20 is 40. 3 times 6 is 18 equals 112. 40 plus 18 gives us x plus 58 equals 112. Now we subtract the 58 from both sides and we'll get x equals 54. So our final answer is this. We have a space for x, y, and z. Our x was 54, our y is 20, and z is 6. Remember that z was the camp stools, y was the sleeping bags, and x was the tents. And now we have the price of each item. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again next episode.